bateau se taille, les voiles déraillent. Known for its beaches, blue skies, and yachts, 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 the Côte d'Azur has the glitz and glamour rivaled by few places on Earth. Situated where the Alps meet the Mediterranean, the Côte d'Azur, also known as the French Riviera, has been Europe's favorite luxurious beach escape for over a century. Watch until the end where we give you a quick list of what to do while in Antibes. Good morning, everyone. We are starting our day off in the most French way possible, and that is with... Croissants. Yes. We went to the local boulangerie that was recommended by our host from our Airbnb. Merci à vous. We got some croissants, and we got a pan au chocolat. But this is the best way to start off your day in France. Just find your local boulangerie, Ooh. which... For those of you that do not parle français, that is a bakery, and order some croissants and pain au chocolat, which is a chocolate bread. There's nothing like this in the States. So buttery. Oh, I'm so good. It's so good. <laughs> so flaky. Cheers. Dante. Mmm. Where do you put that on? Anywhere. <laughs> put it on yeah. the baby. Oh no, my god. No, 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 put it on the baby no, no. when we eat it up. <laughs> Got some spices and, I mean, wonderful spices from the spice market on the Marche Provençal. Patricia and David just sold us some wonderful homemade spices. They're incredible. Like, truly incredible. We tasted a few, we smelled a lot, and we're bringing home even more. We're even bringing home some for my mama. <laughs> so be happy in France. <laughs> Thank you here. so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, perfect. So we just did uh, one of the most French things possible, right? Yes, we just went to the Marche Provençal, which is the best market, one of the best markets in the south of France, definitely the best market in Antibes itself. Now the cool thing about this market is that it's open daily from 7.30 in the morning till one in the afternoon. Now many French markets only occur one day of the week, but here at Marche Provençal, it happens every day. So no matter what day you're in Antibes, you definitely have to stop here because they have amazing cheeses and meats and fresh fruit and seasonings and spices and everything you could want and more. It's amazing. And don't be afraid to ask to taste. Hey, can we taste this? It might be a little intimidating if this is your first time, but just ask, do you speak English? Tu parles anglais? Most of the vendors do, and then just taste away. Yes, incredible. Someone uh, couldn't make it through this whole market because this thing is massive. Yes. Alright guys, we are getting ready to eat at one of my favorite restaurants in the south of France, Chez Jules Antibes. Yes, this is the typical cuisine of the area and it is not that pretentious really. At least no. the restaurant is. It's super unpretentious, great location, great people watching. If you get an outdoor table, highly recommend. Scotland agrees. Um, but we actually ate here our first night in Antibes and we are back a few nights later for more. Let's go check it out. So because we're in the south of France, we ordered a salad niçoise. Now you've probably seen these in the United States. They have tuna and eggs and tomatoes and capers and they're very delicious and they're very common. But we ordered it here because niçoise, meaning from Nice, which is a neighboring city to Antibes where we are now. So Nice is the main city in the south of France and the salad niçoise comes from Nice itself. So when in the south of France, Order a salad niçoise. 
So today, where are we? We are in St. Paul de Vence, which is this beautiful hilltop medieval town, one of the most beautiful villages in all of this region. But we made a big traveler's mistake, and that is coming here on a Saturday at the end of lunch without any reservation. And so basically we were left with the only restaurant that had a seat available, and it was like one table. Yes, in the shade that is, again, because we have a baby. <laughs> a lot of caveats here. Guys, we're learning. Like, we used to be able to fly by the seat of our pants and just go with the flow. You can't really do that as much with a baby, but we're trying still, so we're making adjustments, we're adapting, we're learning, and so is she. We decided to hit the road. We rented a car, and what else did we do? We rented a car seat. We rented a car seat, yeah. yes. I'm gonna put the link right here. I just found it online by Googling rent car seat on Tube. <laughs> Very fancy. But we thought we would be ambitious and only travel by train or walking and we wouldn't need a car seat. So we didn't bring one to Europe. Yes. We made a little bit of a mistake in that in this whole area, there's a lot of places we want to go to and it's a little difficult to get there only by trains. Yes. Especially with her. With the baby. I think if it was just the two of us, we'd be just fine. We could also take taxis. Um, but with the baby, it was a little more challenging. So I think renting a car, if you have a family, is the way to go. So this town is like the most magical little town just to walk around. Plenty of artists, shops. Art galleries. Thank you, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Restaurants and whatnot. But we made one big mistake and that is bringing this stroller that I'm now carrying. We love it, but if you're gonna be walking around these towns, especially these medieval ones, just get the baby carrier and that's it. Yeah, it's not very stroller friendly or uh, disability friendly, so you're gonna have to walk a lot. Yeah, so now I'm schlepping this stroller up and down and it's just a pain. Now, if you're wondering what to wear while you're here in Antibes and in the French Riviera, I highly recommend getting yourself some cuts. Now, what's great about these cuts shirts is not only do they look great when you're just exploring the sites, but they're also nice enough that you can continue to wear this out in the evening and not look like a typical tourist. And one additional bonus is they don't wrinkle. That's right, you can just pull them right out of your suitcase and they're gonna look sharp and brand new every time. And don't worry ladies, the guys don't get to have all the fun because Cuts Clothing now offers women's clothing. And we wanna extend the gift of Cuts to you guys, so click the link below and use the code ROMARU for 15% off your Cuts Clothing order. Now, back to the vlog. And now the most important step, baby sunglasses. I can't see, there we go. That's what's up, oh, and they go in my mouth. <laughs> it's not a snack, but you look like a snack. Today we decided to come visit the wonderful medieval town of Ez. And one of the problems with Ez is parking. Yeah, so you have to get here early or just do a few laps. If you don't have a baby and you're feeling very athletic, you can take the train to the town of Ez at the beach and hike up, but it is supposedly a pretty substantial hike. Yes. And another option if you need to find parking, you can go to a fancy hotel called Chevre d'Or and they have valet paid parking there in the town. So like actually in the medieval town of Metz. So after our mistake of taking the stroller through St. Paul de Vence, we have decided that no stroller will be happening today. You ready, baby? Yeah. All right. You're asking me or the baby? baby. <laughs> So 
so we have been on a mission and that is to get into one of the nicest hotels in the French Riviera, which is? La Chevre d'Or. Yes. Now to get in here, if you are not staying here, it is very, very expensive to stay here. So you can come have lunch or dinner here. They actually have a two Michelin star restaurant. We are not going there. We are going to something called The Garden. Now this is only open in the summer months, so we're gonna enjoy it. But they also have another restaurant that you can go to for lunch or dinner as well. And uh, just go up to the reception and ask for the garden, right? Yes, or you can make a reservation online for one of their other restaurants. Yep, it's true. I know you're hungry. <laughs> it's time to go eat. All right, let's go. Okay. Our next stop is to get some gelato and hopefully another passport stamp because we are going to Monaco. It's a new country and gelato. How many countries is this for you? So you asked Bermuda, Netherlands, France, Monaco, next one's Number second hand. Five. Five and five months. Oh my goodness. Five and five months, and it'll be six by six months. Gotta keep it up. Lots to keep up. Monaco is inside of France or surrounded by France, and it is roughly a 15 minute drive from Ez. Probably a 20 minute drive from Nice. So if you are here in the area and you feel like, you know, adding another number to your country count, this is a quick stop. There's no passport control. You just drive right in. So we finally made it to the beach today, but we came to Plage Keller. And now this is the beach club to go to if you wanna to go to a beach on the cap. And now what is great is we made a reservation for some chairs and we will also have a nice meal here as well. Enjoy your meal. Perfect, thank you. So you can sit at the table and have lunch first and then go to your chairs or vice versa, however you prefer. But what's super nice is this is a sandy beach, which in Europe, you don't often get the sandy beaches. And it is nice and calm, which is perfect for a baby Scotland. Okay, so here I was minding my own business, enjoying this beautiful view of the Mediterranean and playing with my child, when all of a sudden I felt something slimy. And suddenly I realized that Scotland had pooped all over me and all over the chair that we were sitting on. So now Scott has taken her to the bathroom. I'm trying to clean up as best as I can right here. Such as going to the beach with the five month old. <laughs> So now it is time for some fast facts about the French Riviera. The French Riviera is located on the Mediterranean coast in the southeastern part of France. The easiest way to get here is to fly into the airport of Nice. The weather here is a Mediterranean climate, so you're going to find hot, dry summers and mild winters. So there's no actual border, but it basically extends from Italy all the way to the town of Toulon. The French Riviera includes Monaco, which is the second smallest country in the world. And great news, there are over 300 days of sunshine in this beautiful area. Now, quick thing to know as well, food is not served generally from 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. So you have to plan your eating schedules around that. And the French Riviera is located in the Provence Alps Côte d'Azur region. So when it comes to getting around, there really is no right answer. You can rent a car, you can use trains, buses, you can also use car ride services like Bolt or Uber. Now, we originally did not plan to rent a car, but after we got here, we realized that with our little baby, renting a car would suit us best. Yes. Here we go. All we need is an open road and a chance to see a never-ending world that's beautiful. Here we go with the sunlight on our skin. It's a brand new day. It's ours to take and we will let it in. This is where the adventure begins. 
gift. Thanks for watching till the end. Here is a quick list of our best things to do while in on teeth. Now feel free to screenshot this or check the comments below for the complete list. Thank you.